Now we have our basic Agenda application finished. Today we're going to learn how to improve our Agenda application. We're going to start validating our model, creating desired actions, and then we're going to secure our application. Right now, when you create a contact, you'll find that if you want, you can add a contact with no name or with no valid email. Thankfully, we can use play to validate our model. Let's see how. First, let's see how our application works right now. As you can see, there are contacts which have only name and no email or phone or some empty contacts. For example, if I want right now, I can create a new contact with just name. We are going to validate this today. In order to validate this, we need to add annotations to our model. These annotations will tell Play Framework how we want it to validate it. Some validations can built in with Play Framework like required, max size, min size, but you can add your own. Let's add some validations to our model. We want the name to be required in this case. We also want the phone and the email to be required as well. We also want the email to be validated and checked so that it is really an email. And for now, these are the only validations that we're going to add. Now, we need to check for these validations to check if the user has inputted any error in the form. For that, we're going to use the form that we have binded from the request in the agenda controller in the create contact action. What we need to do is to check if this form has errors. If it has errors, we're going to send the user again to the contact page where he can fill again all the information. So here we're going to return a bad request, as it was a bad request, with the new contact page rendered again with this validated form. Otherwise, we're going to get the contact, save it, and then redirect to the agenda list. And this is all we need to do. Now, let's try this. Here, let's create a new contact. Let's add no name, no email, and no phone. We click Submit, and PAM, we got the validations from Play telling us that this field is required. Now, let's add a name. Let's add an email called name and a phone. Let's see what happens. As you can see, it is telling us that the email is not valid. Let's add a valid email. And let's see now. It all worked out. So, we have taken the previous contact model and added validations we needed via the notations. Now, we are certain that the information in our database is consistent and correct. In the next section, we'll see how to create nested actions in our controllers and what they are used for.